Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. Here we have three devices. On the left is the Legion Duo 2 Pro with Snapdragon 888. In the middle is the new iPad Pro M1. And on the right is the iPhone 12 Pro Max with 814. Today we are going to do a benchmark primarily on the new iPad Pro M1. And I think just for fun or for curiosity, I'll also put in the Snapdragon 888 and the Apple 814 for you to have a comparison, to have um, an idea of how crazy strong the M1 is. It's not really a comparison per se, because there is really nothing that can compare to M1 at this point, and also because there is no smartphone with S M1. So technically, it's only a tablet or PC processor. So it's not fair to compare it to the uh, smartphone SoCs. So that's why I say it's for fun only, and please don't blame me on that. I'm not bashing the A14 or Snapdragon 888. They are all good smartphone SoCs, okay? So now let's go. We are starting with Geekbench 5. guys from the very first benchmark we see how crazy strong the m1 is right so here i always use the m1 as the baseline and i'll show you how much percent of performance the snapdragon 888 and, and the a14 can offer so the 888 and a14 could actually only offer about half or slightly more than half of the multi-core performance of m1 okay next we'll test out the gfx bench um, this is a pure GPU test, and uh, we'll actually run all the off-screen tests to compare the performance, the absolute performance. Take note that the off-screen test is not affected by the screen resolution or the screen refresh rate. So it's fair to all these devices with all different screen re resolutions and the refresh rates. We finish all the GFX bench test, and uh, this result is not very easy to view. So I actually compile them into this uh, one picture, and uh, you can have a very clear idea of uh, how they perform. It's quite clear to see that uh, the Snapdragon Triple Eight and A14 actually can achieve around 40 to 50, so basically half the performance of the M1. Our next test will be N22 Bench. So this is a more comprehensive benchmark that covers the CPU, the GPU, the RAM, the storage, basically everything. But I have to mention that the app version on iOS and Android are not the same, so they may not be directly comparable. But I think it's still comparable across iOS devices. So that means you can see how much better the M1 is over the A14. Alright guys, so officially the iPad Pro M1 is the first ever mobile device that scores over 1 million points in N22 benchmark. How crazy is that? And uh, we see that uh, the A14 is only about as 60% fast as the M1. So essentially you still get close to double the performance. Okay, and uh, our last test will be 3D Mark stress test. So this is also a GPU test, but it's a sustained performance test. The very heavy load test will keep running for 20 loops, that means it's 20 minutes, and we'll see how the device can maintain its peak performance or how hard it throttles. So this is uh, particularly interesting to those who play a lot of games, because uh, we all know that for gaming, sustained performance is the king. And uh, let's go. Apparently the 888 is no match for the M1 chip, right? So its peak performance is less than one third that of M1. But then of course, because this is a gaming device, it throttles less. So the throttle performance is like 42% from the M1. 
And quite interestingly, we see that the M1 on the tablet still throttles. And after 20 minutes, the performance is only about 66% of the peak performance. But it's, that is still much, much better than any of the peak performance from any of the smartphones. So it's still enough to run most of the games, if not all the games. As for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, so whether it's peaked or sustained, the performance will be around half from that of the M1 iPad Pro. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. We see that the M1 is indeed an amazing SoC. It's at least twice as powerful as the Snapdragon 888 or A14. How do you like this M1 SoC? And how do you like the new iPad Pro? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe and share it to your friends. Okay, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.